What do you think it's going to mean to players to play at Yankee Stadium? Well, it, it, it means a lot. I mean, it's uh, it's an incredible venue. It's a it's a sports franchise and a, a name that's known around the world, and uh, so it's special. It's a special place. Um, it's obviously uh, has so much tradition and history as far as the franchise goes. So. I know soccer players around the world, um, they know who the Yankees are, and so it's it's really a special venue for, for anyone to get a chance to play in. Is it a, any kind of a challenge to play at a venue that isn't necessarily built for soccer? I mean, there there are some, but I think uh, knowing what, you know, really the, the, who the Yankees are and their grounds crew is as good as any in the world, and, you know, uh, you know the the field has has played perfectly when they've had exhibitions there over the summer, so there really isn't. You know, I think um, you know uh, it, it's more positives really than negatives. We're really excited about it. It's an it's an amazing place, and we were there this morning to announce it officially. And you know, you just get a, a special feeling when you walk in there. So I think fans will really have a great experience uh, watching us play there. Um, it's a different atmosphere than a baseball game, so I think that'll be interesting for for sports fans to compare to see, you know, how fans are are in a soccer game. And you know, we we have to put a good product on the field, and we're we're confident we will. So it's positive. We want to we want to enter this, and, and we're thrilled and we're excited about the partnership with the Yankees, and we just can't wait to start our our, our season next year. Claudio Reyna of NYCFC is with us here on the Michael K Show. They announced officially today they'll be playing the first three years at Yankee Stadium. And now there's even more pressure, Claudio, because your first season ticket holder happens to be a guy who knows about winning, Mariano Rivera. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So we were we were excited to have Mariano there today. He was he was as always uh, great. You know, he he's a big soccer fan growing up in Panama. Um, you know, he, he's going to come to games and support us, and so. You know what better way and what what better person to have as our first season ticket holder? So it's great, it's awesome. We're excited to have him and the Yankees behind it. But uh, Mo is uh, definitely can choose wherever he wants to see it at the stadium. I think he's earned it. <laughs> now, building up rivalries, we talk about uh, the Nets moving to Brooklyn and they're competing with the Knicks. And this is a town that has multiple sports teams, and rivalries are already created trying to steal attention from the other ones. So. As you begin starting here, how important is it to try to get into that Red Bulls fan base and, and having and building something between the fans that they already have and the ones you're trying to create? Yeah, I think it's important. I mean, in, in all honesty, that's how you know, a lot of the leagues and have grown over the years, going back many decades. When you look at the NBA and, and, and NFL, all the, all the animosity between fans. I think it's important, though, that we, we grow this rivalry in the right way, and that's on the field. So... You know, you won't be hearing anything from us. Um, they're they're a good organization. They've been around for a long time. Uh, you know, they're across the river in New Jersey, and, and you know, they're they're developing really nicely. I think it's going to help us as much as it's going to help them as well to have to have a rivalry nearby. And you know, we, we we hope to have some fans coming across to watch us play as well. But I think it's great. It's a win-win for both of us, and uh, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be exciting when we play them and here at Yankee Stadium when we go over to Red Bull Arena and play them there. Now, Claudio, anytime there's something new that begins, there's, you know, there's startup pains and gains or whatever, but I would think, and you could correct me if I'm wrong, your association with a brand like the Yankees is almost going to give instant legitimacy to it. Is that the way you look at it as well? Yeah, I do, and it has already. I mean, it's given us a lot of credibility. You know, we have, uh, we're very fortunate to have Manchester City from the Premier League and the Yankees as our owners. Uh, they've been involved from day one. You know, Randy Levine and, and his staff have been, uh, you know, really great partners. And, you know, they know how to do it. It's, it's obviously a different sport, but in terms of how to build a culture and an organization and how to market a brand, you know, there's, there's, there's second to none. So we're certainly um, teaming up with them and, and, and picking their brains on many different things. And so, like I said, they've been great partners, and uh, we'll have a, a long relationship with them. And, you know, they, they genuinely want us to succeed, and, um, you know, they're, they're putting all their resources behind it as well to help us. So, as, as you see today, having Mariano join us and, and, and be that first fan, I think it's a, it's a great launch for us to have him, and, and it's, a, it's a wonderful partnership to have, you know, the Yankees with us. And right, how's the transition been for you from player to executive? 
It's been good. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, you take, you take time. You never know, really. You know, you finish playing and, you know, you kind of, a lot of different things you want to get involved with. Uh, you know, five years ago when I stopped playing, I, I would have never imagined that I'd be, uh, you know, a, a sporting director, GM role in uh, at a professional soccer team here in New York City. And you just never know. You kind of keep a lot of doors open. Um, it's fantastic. I'll tell you, it's a privilege to be able to do this. It's a sport I love. I grew up locally in New Jersey. Um, I'm a big sports fan. I follow all the local teams. I want them all to do well. And now to kind of be part of a team that's, you know, immersed in this, you know, great sports city that we have and, you know, uh, be competing not against them but with them, really. You know, we, I want all the, all the New York teams to do well. It's only great for sports and sports fans in the area. So the transition's been great. Um, like I said, we've got a, a great uh, leadership team with Manchester City and the Yankees to make sure I listen to and, and, and learn from as well. But I'm adjusting well, and, you know, I sometimes do get the itch, like today when we were down on the field, to, to run around and kick a ball. But there's no doubt my legs are gone, so I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Claudia, I'm going to give you a little bit of advice, okay? <laughs> Just listen to Randy Levine. <laughs> I do. I do. I make sure I do. <laughs> when do you start putting this team together? Well, we are now. Actually, it's a, it's a lot of lot of the work behind the scenes uh, is, is, is looking for players. As we know, we don't have uh, any players at the moment, so we have about eight or nine months to start signing up some players. And uh, it's fun. It's exciting. It's certainly a challenge to build a team from scratch. We have a great head coach in Jason Kreis who, who, who came to us from Real Salt Lake and has a great track record of, of success in Major League Soccer. So, you know, we're confident we're going to put a productive team on the field. Um, there's certainly no shortage of interest in, in our club and in this great city to recruit players. So, again, we, we, we think we'll have a competitive team. We'll have good players. We'll have an exciting product that fans will really enjoy to watch, and, you know, we're, we're going to work hard to do that.